Okay, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you something really cool. I'm gonna show you what my setup is for conventions. That is cosplay conventions, Comic-Con, all those geeky things that I love to go to where I get awesome pictures. Okay, so if you've never been to one of these events, basically how it works is there's a huge event center downtown or somewhere in the city where a bunch of people come. Anywhere from five to 10,000 people, I'm guessing, show up, some of them dressed in costumes, some of them not. There's celebrities, there's vendors, there's all kinds of crazy cool stuff going on. And basically what I do as a photographer is I either walk around and take pictures of random people and meet them, give them my business card, try to network with them, or ahead of time I'll schedule photo shoots uh, throughout that day and I'll do those at specific times, specific locations, and um, yeah, it's a lot of fun. So a lot of pictures are happening and I need to be portable and I need to have good equipment with me, but I don't want to be so bogged down that I'm carrying a bag and a stand and you know a trailer behind me with stuff. So I've kind of slimmed it down to a pretty portable system uh, that I really like for myself. So I'm gonna share with you what that is. All right, so I'm shooting with the Canon 6D. It's a great full frame camera. I really like it. Um, you can do this convention with any camera, honestly, but just letting you know what I have. As far as lenses that I use at a convention, I'll use my wide angle and my 50 millimeter. So my wide angle, my big one, is uh, 16 to 35. Uh, so that's really good in tight spots. If I'm in a big crowd, I can still get a decent picture as far as the wide angle is concerned. Um, I can go to f2.8, so if I'm, in, if I'm in a dark area or if I want that depth of field effect, I can do that with this lens. My other lens that I use is the 50 millimeter. I love the 50. It's great for headshots, great for medium shots. Um, I can do full, full body pictures, but that means I have to have a lot of space. So if I'm outside, no problem. But if I'm inside or in a corner in a hallway, I'm definitely going to be using this a lot. Um, so my 50, 50 millimeter is great. It can also do very low light since it can go to f1.4. Um, my pouches are my lifesavers. I love these pouches. You have to get them. They're like $14 each. They're from, from a company called Pearstone. They're not paying me for this, but they should be. Uh, I use these at weddings. I use these at every single photo shoot I do. It doesn't matter what it is. Um, they, they have Velcro, and they go onto your belt very securely. Um, they can hold anything. They can hold all three of my lenses, even my big wide angle, uh, down to my 50 millimeter and my long 100 millimeter zoom. Uh, they all fit in here perfectly and safely. They've never fallen out, anything like that. They, they, they even stay safe from the environment usually because the, the flap kind of stays closed. You can zip it if you really want to. Um, and this, I only bring two lenses though. I don't bring my zoom lens with me because last time I went to a convention, I had my 100 millimeter right here. I never touched it. It's heavy, it's big, it's very close up. And I just wasn't, that just really wasn't what I was going for, it turns out. So learn my lesson. So I only bring my wide angle, and my 50 millimeter. Over here, I carry uh, different things. Right now I've got a flash. Um, I have my main flash right here, but I also bring a second flash for color effects. Whether I want to splash a color behind them on the wall behind them, I have some energy effects in their hand, I want to color that, uh, you name it. It's just, it's good to have two flashes, you can do a lot more with it. And if I need extra light, hey, I got another light. Two, two speed lights is better than one. So I can carry speed light easily in my pouch. Um, other things I've carried are cards. Uh, at one convention, I didn't have planned photo shoots, I just went around asking strangers, hey, can I take a picture of you? Here's my card, I'll send you the picture. Um, I had custom made cards for that event, that was really nice. So. Uh, cards fit in here well, water bottles, wallets, phones, like anything. These things are great. All right, other stuff that I'm using is cargo shorts. They're awesome. They can carry everything that your pouches can't. Um, for instance, this little guy. This is a battery holder. It holds 12 AA batteries um, nicely and safely. They're not bouncing around in my pocket, not falling out when I squat down. Um, it holds them and it doesn't let them contact anything to make a dangerous charge. So these battery holders are awesome. A few bucks on Amazon. And for the batteries that I use, I right now I'm using Amazon Basics rechargeable batteries. I did have the Inloop batteries before, and they're good, but I had them for about two years. So I figured it was time to get a new, new set of batteries. So I'm using Amazon Basics. All right, so right here I've got my Yongnuo flash with a transceiver on the bottom, which allows it to communicate wirelessly with my camera. This is my wireless Yongnuo controller up here. Um, and I've got it in a Westcott Rapid Box, the 26 inch. Very portable, very lightweight. Uh, I love the diffusion. I love the size of it. It's just right for almost all uses. I even use it for really big family shoots and it does the job. Um, and this is the diffusion cloth, which you can easily take off. This is what spreads the light out, makes it nice and cloudy and soft. Inside you've got, you know, my flash coming directly forwards, which is good. Instead of bouncing back and coming forwards, it's going straight forwards, which I think you get the most light out of it. Um, so when I decided to bring this, I was kind of worried because it's a light stand. I don't want to carry a light stand around all day long. So I started thinking, I thought, you know, wouldn't it be awesome if I could strap this on my back like a sword or something? Um, I mean, I'm at a convention anyway. There's already swords and guns and stuff on people's backs. So this is what I devised. I went to the music store and I bought 
a guitar strap, $7, black, non-distracting, um, got a little Texas on there. So what I did was I unscrewed these tightening screws, I put the guitar strap on there, and I tightened it up. And it's awesome, this rotates freely, it doesn't interrupt with the tightening, um, and basically what I do when I'm ready to, when I'm ready to move and go to my next location, um, I just collapse this down and take the cloth off, I collapse the diffuser, bend it downwards, I get this guy, and I'll either put this in my uh, pouch, I'll put it in my pocket, or if I really want to, I can shove this in the back of the actual diffuser, which is where I normally store it, and it keeps it nice and safe. Make sure your flash is nice and tight, because when you're walking around, you don't want your flash to go bouncing across the street. That would be really bad. So a little Velcro here tightens it up. Awesome. Now I collapse the legs. Now here's the cool part. At least I hope it looks cool when I do it. So I point this downwards, like so, and I sling it over my back, whichever angle I want. I've got my camera on this side, so I just hang this right there, and voila, I'm portable, I can walk. I do have to be careful, because usually there's lots of crowds and lines, so when I'm walking, I, I kind of keep my hand in it or I'll hold it behind me. But hey, it's awesome. I'm, it's really lightweight, it doesn't hurt my back. And uh, I just, I just want to be portable because in San Antonio, the event center is huge. I measured it. I did 3,000 steps one day, just scouting out the locations. Uh, during an actual shooting day, I took 1,000 steps. I don't know if that's a lot, but there's that. So uh, you got to be portable. You got to be lightweight. Um, shorts are a must in Texas. <laughs> also, if you're doing a longer day, sometimes I'll wear a side strap, really small backpack, and I'll have a bottle of water, you know, even a lunch in there, um, an extra flash, extra batteries. Um, memory cards, uh, all that stuff. So, um, you know, you want to be prepared, think ahead, um, plan out your day and know what you're going to need and when and where you're going to shoot. That's really important. I hope you like this video and I'd love to know what y'all use at your events.